everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we are going to be touching base on a brand new figure that I just got today from Target okay I went to the Target uh, located in Burlington instead of in Greensboro and I happened to come across this hanging up on the wall and I immediately picked it up and I'm gonna to have to probably pull it off of my pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store because it always seems to take forever for those things to come in unless it's a different Frankenstein figure and then I'll leave it in the pre-order but in the meantime we're going to touch base on this particular Frankenstein uh, monster and as you can see in the box art it's absolutely impressive looking for NECA figures you can collect a box the box art in itself are serious collectors items in themselves but we're going to talk about the figure I'm going to pull it out of the box and then we're going to go over the Frankenstein monster. One thing I forgot to do when it comes to this is actually show you the box art up close and personal. We'll do that and then I'll pull the actual figure out of its box along with the accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box art. Alright, that's obviously the Frankenstein monster, okay? The man who made a monster. The original horror show. Okay. That's pretty cool looking artwork. Alright. Now you can see he looks really badass there. And there's different faces in this thing I'm going to show you. Alright. Alright. That's a ne it's a NECA figure. Real toys guys. Real toys. The back of this box art is... Now I'm sorry about the lighting if it's really too bright. Alright. I might have changed the angle on that light. But anyway, that's what the box art looks like. There's the other side. Alright. And I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. And that's very cool looking. Now before we get into this again, I'll uh, show you what that looks like on this side here. I'm going to see if I can change the actual lighting on this. But it looks good right now. I think the reflection from the box art kind of threw it off a bit. But it seems like it looks like it's okay. So maybe I won't have to do anything. I, like I said, it's got three different heads on it. And a whole bunch of hands, along with the um, chains, the shackles, and the flowers that come with the Frankenstein monster. Okay. With that in mind, I'll be right back with the figure pulled out of its box. Okay, we're back. And we're going to go ahead and examine the actual NECA figure based on the Frankenstein monster. Okay, so what we're going to do is it does come with different accessories. It comes with three different heads, which I'll show you the other two here in a second. And it does come with an assortment of hands along with uh, the white flowers that he is seen using in the 1954 film, I think it was. I can't remember the date. It kind of, uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. But anyway, he's holding the flowers and he ends up drowning the girl or throwing a girl into the lake and she ends up dying you know obviously that because he was misunderstood you know the story but anyway long story short we are going to look at this particular figure and the accessories okay now I might switch out the hand because it does look a little bit odd whoops what do you think you're doing here looks a little bit odd as compared to um, with you know the one with the flower I'll show you what the flowers look like but anyway, long story short, let's get into the actual accessories first, and then we'll jump right into the figure. Let's start off with the very first head, which is this guy right here. I'm going to pull it in close so you can actually see what he looks like. Alright, and that's what he looks like. And that's pretty cool looking. Nice detail on this. Been one, the Frankenstein monster, for a long time. Okay, and obviously the head. Okay, and I'm going to show you the other head. You will see it does have different facial features. Okay, this is where he tries to smile. He's like, eee, can you see me? Okay, obviously the head is the same way, same sculpt, with the exception of the face. Okay. The hands, many different hands here, guy. Okay. All right, now as you can see, it is a little different. Different movements in the hands, okay. 
Right. And this one here. All right. This one here. Like I said, I'm definitely going to switch out the hands. Alright. Well, that's what that looks like. And this one here. Which I believe was the one that was already originally on the figure. So I'm going to switch it out here in a second. I'm going to show you the flowers. This guy right here seems to be by itself. They're more like a dandelion. Or some kind of white uh, flower. I'm not sure what they would call it. Alright. Sorry about that. And that's what that looks like. And there's the stem to it. And that's the stem. Alright. Moving on to the next flower. Double stem situation here. Now you can probably group these together and stick them in his hands. And it should be able to lock in. Alright. Just turn that around so you can see it. All right, and that's what she looks like. Okay, double flower system. All right, that's the accessories, with the exception of what he's got on his wrist right now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the wrist here, and then we're gonna talk about the figure. So bear with me, guys. Oops. Put the chain back on. Because I like the chain on Mr. Frankenstein. Alright, so now I'll squeeze him back in there. Alright, now we're good. So let's look at the figure in itself now. Now that's the other head. It's got very nice detail. The articulation, the head does move back and forth. So you can kind of turn his head like that if you want. Right, it is on a ball, bo uh, ball joint. As you've seen in this other head here, inside the head, okay. The jacket, I'm not 100% positive it opens up or not, but I'm not going to force it because I don't want to break it. The chains, the cuffs, the shackles in this case, okay, you can just pull the hands off and put the shackles on. And I kept them on here because I just like the way it looks. Alright, the jacket in itself is a little flexible, okay. But it does have very nice looking detail to the jacket. All right. His feet are very thick. All right. It does bend at the knees as well as in the hips too as well. Okay, So keep that in mind. Not sure if it's 30 points of articulation. As the torso, very little movement. But it does move at the hips. Okay, Along with the kneecaps. And the feet, and they do swivel back and forth just a wee bit, and they do rock and forth back just a little bit, but not much. Okay, there's not really much movement there. He's just basically there just to stand, as you can see. You can spread his legs. You can do Kung Fu. No, I'm kidding. All right. But that is my Frankenstein monster. All right. And you can see the little, uh, what do you call it, like the metal shock sprocket I don't know what you want to call that thing but anyway it's on his neck very traditional on both sides okay but when I seen this I said oh I gotta get this all right long story short hang on let me see make sure it's... all right now let's see if you stand right now. okay push it back there we go that is Mr. Frankenstein Monster. Now, a lot of people want to refer to him as just Frankenstein. He technically doesn't have a name. It was the actual doctor who actually created the monster. Uh, his name was Dr. Frankenstein. I know a lot of people know that. Uh, but a lot of people don't know that. But that's my Frankenstein figure from NECA. Uh, Real Toys. Look up Real Toys. I'm sure you're going to find a lot of decent looking toys. Uh, that they make because they're the ones that actually make it but I think NECA is the one that actually sponsors these things or maybe Real Toys is connected with NECA I don't know uh, but it always seems uh, that anytime you have a NECA figure it's got a Real Toys logo on it so I'm not sure if they're actually connected or not 
But in the meantime, I believe this is going to be it for this particular video. We'll pull them in closer. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Alright, because like I said, I'll be pushing out some more videos as time progresses, okay? I'm getting to the end of my horror figures. Uh, I do have two other videos based on my alien collection I've yet to upload. I'm probably going to do that today if I can. Uh, but I got to create the video first and then upload it. And then I got to concentrate on my uh, NECA figures based on the Predators. And then we'll see what happens after that. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.